Hello, my name is Rashad Andrews and I will be demonstrating a penetration test on port 80, also known as HTTP. The purpose of this video is to show my employer the vulnerabilities within their system. Let's begin by making sure we are connected to the target system by pinging the target system IP address. Packets were transmitted which indicates connectivity. Next, we will use a service in map scan with the target system IP address specific to port 80. Here we find that the port 80 is open and is using version Apache HTTPD 2.28 on Ubuntu operating system. Let's see what more information we can find about this version of HTTPD. Next, we will use the MSF console to open the Metasploit framework and search the HTTP version. We found an auxiliary module that we can use to give us more information. So we're going to copy and paste this auxiliary module show options to see what is required, and then set the R host to the target machine's IP address. Now we show options again to confirm the remote host was input into the module. After using the command run on the module, we now know this HTTP version is powered by PHP 5.2.4. HTTP is hypertext transfer protocol used by web browsers. Now we want to open the web browser, type the target machine's IP address forward slash php info dot php. This web page shows private information within the system files which can be used for exploitation. We will use the configuration file path PHP CGI. CGI stands for Common Gateway Interface and is used to accept and return data. So now we go back to the terminal and search PHP CGI. We found an exploitation, which is an injection of the PHP CGI argument. Now we want to copy and paste and use this exploitation. We show options to see what is required. Next, we set the R host to the target machine's IP address. Then, we show options again to make sure that the IP address was input into the exploitation. Next, we run the command exploit, and notice we have gained access into the target machine system via interpreter. Run the command change directory and else to view the current directory. Change the directory to red team look here then use else to view the directory. Notice the shadow file Use the cat command to view the contents of the shadow file. Copy the hash of the desired red team student, which in my case is red team student one. Open a new terminal window. Type leafpad and the name of the file that you want to place the hash in. In this case, 
is hash3.txt. In the leafpad window, paste the hash that you just copied from the previous terminal and then save the file and then close the file. Now run the cat command with hash3txt to make sure that the hash was actually in the system. Now run the command john with the hash file name that you chosen and run the command. Notice the cracked password is 1A. Return to the previous attack terminal and change the directory and then type ls to view the directory. Change the directory to red team 1 and then push ls to view the directory. Then change the directory to student 1 by typing in red team 1 forward slash student 1 and then press ls to view the directory. Notice the file mypass.txt. Type cat then mypass.txt to view the contents of the file. Next, copy the hash that you see within the terminal Return to the previous terminal and type leafpad hash 4.txt to open a new leafpad. Paste the hash that you have copied from the previous terminal and save it. Use the command cat and then type in the file that you just created on leafpad to make sure the file was in the system. Next, type base64 space dash d space the name of the file that you created in order to decode the file. And the password is red team one student one. Some of the solutions include closing the HTTP port or adding security to the HTTP by turning it into a HTTPS. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Goodbye.